North Korea warning of ominous outcomes if the United States and South Korea carry out military drills scheduled for February and March on the Korean Peninsula. Making matters worse, a grim follow-up possibly to the execution of Kim Jong-un's uncle. The North Korean leader reportedly also ordered the death of most of his uncle's family, including some children. The uncle was put to death after Kim Jong-un accused him of plotting to overthrow the communist regime. And this is just the latest bloodshed in a brutal power struggle in North Korea. With more for what all this means, we have Gordon Chang, the author of Nuclear Showdown, North Korea Takes on the World. Thank you, as always, for being with us. Thank you. So North Korea is now demanding a halt to these joint military drills by the U.S. and South Korea. Uh, the ambassador held a rare press conference at the United Nations on Friday saying that these exercises could get out of control and plunge us into unimaginable disaster. So what should the U.S. make of that warning? Really what the North Koreans are trying to do right now is set the stage for a series of provocations because they want justification. And so they're saying that these joint military exercises, which are just purely defensive in nature, threaten North Korea. And so what we're going to probably see is a fourth nuclear detonation, perhaps a launch of another ballistic missile, maybe even attacks against South Korea. So all of these things are probably going to occur in fairly short order, like they did last year when we saw one right after the other, day after day. So what should the U.S. response be uh, to these moves, and are, are sanctions effective at all? Well, the first thing we should do is make sure that these military exercises, which are started, will start next month, actually go forward, because that shows the resolve to the North Koreans that North Korea, that South Korea and the United States will defend the peninsula. You know, in terms of sanctions, we do have some pretty strict sanctions on the North, but they could be much tougher, and I think we probably need to toughen them. So, for instance, this joint industrial zone between South Korea and North Korea at Kaesong, we need to toughen the sanctions on goods coming out of there, because that really does materially help the regime in the North build nuclear weapons and long-range missiles. Mm. Uh, moving on to what we mentioned in the introduction, uh, that uh, already uh, Kim Jong-un ordered the execution of his uncle in the midst of this big power struggle. And the follow-up to that, we're hearing this grim news uh, that just came out late yesterday, uh, has not been confirmed, uh, that the rest of his entire family, other relatives, including children, uh, have also been killed. Uh, what, what signal does that send about uh, what's going on over there right now? Well, I think it shows that the regime is tearing itself apart. You know, Jun Sun Tak, who was executed in December, he had a number of people executed when he was in power. And what we're seeing right now is revenge. And so revenge is becoming the, dy the dynamic in the North Korean regime. This regime generally is pretty stable because the people in North Korea are so destitute that they don't have the ability to resist it. But when you have senior figures um, starting to claw at each other, that means the regime can split and you could have instability in North Korea. And that could have enormous consequences because they have WMD. They've got the missiles, they've got the nukes, the chem weapons, and the biologicals. And we don't know who's going to control this stuff if the regime splits apart. Yeah, and it does seem that they are heading down that path of instability right now. So uh, what does the international community, uh, other than the sanctions that we already uh, mentioned, uh, you know, he gave the speech to the United Nations, the ambassador. What can the United Nations do? What can they do here? We really can't do very much. We're just sort of watching. But we have to show the North Koreans we have resolve, and that goes back to making sure that these military exercises go forward. Right. You know, the other thing is that we have relied on China for the last decade and a half to sort of rein in the North Koreans. Well, we know with the execution of Jun Sontag that the Chinese now have less than zero influence. So we need to stop looking to Beijing and start looking to ourselves to craft solutions on the Korean Peninsula. Because, you know, the North Koreans, they may hate us, so that's what they say, but mm -hmm. they like us a lot better than they like the Chinese because there's been a lot of historical anonymity for six centuries between China and Korea. Interesting. All right, Gordon Chang, thank you as always. Thank you.